My name is Wavere Joshua. I was part of the Manila team that went to the Y1 together, which was my first actually. And what I'm been talking about is the fullness that was part of the what was at the beginning of the of the Y1 together. Full Nets is just a part of Y1 that is a, a ministry in Y1 that is more into evangelism. So they have different ways they have been preaching, making God known in the world. So different Y1 teams came together just to speak about how, how better to share the word of God to the mass, to the big group of people. So there was a part where um, there was a group from Jamaica which I was really interested in, that was uh, showing how they used to reach out to the deaf and dumb using sign language. They actually preached the word in sign language, which was quite interesting for me. It was like they were talking about a 90% of unreached people who are deaf and dumb because for us, we, when we are reaching out, we just go out to those who, are, who can listen, who can process to what we are saying, but we do not even take time to go and look at those deaf and dumb and how to reach, how to reach out to them. So, and also how, the, how they use the animations, um, the, 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 the cartoons, you know, how to reach out to the little children. And it was quite interesting for me to see how different ways they are using to reach out to the, to the masses. But also, darling, we had a, uh, we had a speaker, Darlene Cunningham, the wife of the late Lauren Cunningham, who spoke about the anointing in the youth, which was quite touched because I was like, youth is a mission. Why youth? You know, we have, we have so many youth, but why did they include the youth? And she repeated it twice, that the anointing in youth is a mission lies in the youth. And we need to include many youth into our missions which was quite interesting because now being a youth and I know that anointing now lies in me in Y1, it's quite encouraging why we are in this work as missionaries. And also, I also got that aspect of new ways uh, to, reach, to reach the mass, the oral mother tongue, the audio, you know, reaching out to the people using the audio Bible. And they gave us this small small bi uh, uh, Bible, uh, audio Bibles that we took, that we are able to take home, bring home. Actually, I have one that I'm supposed, which I gave out because somebody needed it, but it was quite a nice way. It was quite eye-opening on how to reach out to the unreached, to know God and make him known. I would like to thank everybody for their prayers, um, for enabling us and standing with me to head to make sure that I reach out in Manila for my first while I'm together. Thank you very much.